Hello, TEDx New Albany. How is everybody today? Well, today I'm going to teach you a little bit how an engineer thinks. Algorithms. We've all heard of them in technology, in business, even in our culture today. But what is it? What does an algorithm mean? An algorithm is a process that transforms information or energy. Typically, we think about this as a math function, maybe an equation running in a computer over and over again. But expand your mind for a second. I want you to think of a plant taking in sunlight and breathing out oxygen. I want you to think of a beating heart that pumps blood through your body your entire life just from small electrical signals. I want you to imagine a flock of birds swarming from one tree to another, making shapes that have never existed before and that you'll probably never see again. An algorithm is a process that transforms information or energy. And every algorithmic process starts with an event. Is anybody here competitive? Academics, sports, video games? I am. Best day of my life. I was nine years old, and I finally got the N N64. I was the happiest kid. I'd been wanting one for years. It wasn't, you know, it didn't come out the day before. It had come out a few years before. And I had finally gotten one. I was so happy. I was so excited. And guess what my game was? Mario Kart. Anybody here play Mario Kart N64? Let me see some hands. Yeah. And guess what it still is? I couldn't lose. You couldn't beat me. And I was proud of that fact. I could not lose until I did. What happened? I'd get angry. I'd get so angry, in fact, that I would want to bite, kick, hit, punch, throw my controller across the room. It was harder to do when you didn't have these wireless ones. <laughs> but sometimes it would actually happen. I'd bite, punch, get mad at my friends. That didn't fly. Soon my friends started leaving. I'd get grounded. This was something that was built into me, though. I didn't learn it. My parents weren't angry people. They yelled at me like any other kid, as they should have. But this was something deep in me that I couldn't help. It was a trigger that I would pull out when I lost. It was that anger of competition. So what had to happen? Well, obviously, my friends didn't come over as much. My game system got taken away, and it wasn't given back until I could prove I could control myself. My environment changed. I learned from it. Now let's fast forward about nine years. I was in college. I didn't have the biting issues anymore. That would not have flown so much. <laughs> Who here drank Natty Light, Miller High Life, anything that's cheaper than water? I drank more. Seven nights a week by the time I was 21. Two, three, four of those nights, I was blacked out. But it's not alcoholism when you're in college, right? Right? I didn't realize what it was. The people around me, they were the ones who told me, it's not alcoholism when you're in college. Have fun. You're only going to live once. Be like us. Be intelligent, but don't worry about your grades. The times are going to be more fun. I carried this mentality with me until I finally graduated a year and a half later. I was able to remove myself from my environment, take a fresh breath, and see that I'd been in a haze for five years. Did not change until I left my environment. Excellence is not an act, but a habit because we are what we repeatedly do. We all want to be excellent. All of us want to be better, but we have such trouble doing it. Why is that? Why can't we just click something? In 1776, Adam Smith came up with the theory of the invisible hand. The economy was too big, it was too powerful, there was too much going on, but something kept moving it forward. Something kept pushing it along. Something kept growing. Something kept accelerating. This was the invisible hand. 
Now I want you to take that and expand on it. And consider what are the invisible hands in your daily life? Or as I like to call them, the invisible algorithms. An algorithm is a process that transforms information or energy. An uh, algorithm starts with an event. An algorithm is your environment. You don't change it in one day, you don't change it in five. We often call them habits. It takes 15 to 90 days of a new environment in order for you to even start to change. So I want you to take a minute. I want you to consider who are the people, what places do you go to, what things are in your life that are creating your algorithms? Because if I, if you can show me your friends, I will show you your future every single time. My name is Brian Thomas. Thank you very much.